Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you hopefully saw in the other videos, you saw how we met, you heard our story of divorce, and now we are going to talk about our reconciliation story. We hope that this will encourage you guys and motivate you <coughs> if you have been through similar things. Um, hopefully, we really believe that God brought us through this to hopefully share with others um, and maybe help others. So, in the last video, we ended up or ended off with, um, in a week, we were meeting with the judge to finalize our divorce with our one week or two week old baby. Um, I will link all the other videos below in the description box to get to know me so you'll be able to watch them in order. So this is just a way to get you, for you guys to get to know us a little bit better. Our channel, I really want to be relatable to you guys. I want you guys to know what we've gone through. So hopefully it can encourage you guys. And anyone who's been through it, you don't feel alone because that's the whole point. We're kind of going through this journey together. So like I had mentioned, in a week, we are going to meet with the attorneys and go. Do you remember what happened at that point? Um, the song? So. Uh, I got it, I got it. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, um, at this point, I know that I think we've gone back and forth, but I haven't my leg. But um, I, I remember from my perspective, I did not, I didn't want to be divorced, but I didn't really trust her in us even potentially getting back together because of all the things that had happened. So, when we were about, you know, after the baby was born, uh, this is about a week before um, we are meeting to sign the papers and finalize everything. Uh, she sent me a song. This was late one night. I think it was like 1 a.m. or something. No. No? No. It was in the afternoon and I sent him the song, the Sanctus oh, Real song. Okay. That's right. That's right. She sent me the song in the afternoon. It was Sanctus Real song called Lead Me. And it basically goes through and tells a story of a wife... Um, asking the husband to lead them properly and essentially lead her and lead the kids and then the husband in turn uh, asking uh, asking God to lead him so that he can lead his family well so it's kind of the just the order of, of you know leadership if you will within the family but she sent me the song as kind of a kind of one last fishing line she's throwing one last line out saying hey yeah, because what? he would come and visit. He would he would come and visit every visiting, every other day um, as a newborn. And like my uh, love was, I could just feel something growing inside of me, something growing inside of me. But I was super scared because I'm like, oh my gosh, all the money we've spent, everything we put our, our parents, families through, like they're gonna, our they're gonna kill us. Yeah. Like, what are we doing? They're gonna think we were liars. We weren't liars. It was just like. We were scared. We were responding in fear. We were just like we started the divorce, responding in fear. We were still responding in fear. So I heard the song, and one of our biggest challenges is he was like, "You don't want me to guide you or lead you in this marriage," and I wanted to do my own thing. And so I sent him that song. I just felt like the Lord. I felt like I could almost hear him speaking to me, saying, "Just sing it to him." I'm like, oh, he hates me. This guy hates me. And um, so she sent me the song. Mm -hmm. And said, what do you think? And I basically responded with, um, yeah, it's a cool song or whatever. Just being very cold um, oh, so to her. Cold. Just just because at this point, um, we didn't trust each other, you know. And I, I just, I was like, well, why are you sending me the song now? It, we're a week away from getting divorced. Why, what, what, what gain could you get from this? You know, that, that was just how I was feeling. I remember... That night, at 1 a.m., I went back and I listened to the song over and over again. And I don't even know if I told you this, but um, I literally, for like two hours, I just was weeping. And my, that was at my parents' house in my old bedroom. And I'm listening to the song and I'm just, I'm literally warring within myself, like, God, is this even possible? That she means this, or is it a ploy? Is it, I just didn't know why she would have been sending it to me. So I tried to open up to it, and then I think the next day or the day after, I know that I came and visited again. So that was like a, a Wednesday or a Thursday, and then Friday um, we decided. I was like, I think we just need to talk, and so we brought. I brought a neutral friend, and he brought a neutral friend, and we came and we just sat down and talked. 
and we got everything out on the table. See, we had not we had not been speaking any of those months. Even when we were, when I was visiting Liam, we weren't talking. We were not speaking to each other. I would just hold Liam. You would just stare at him. I would just stare so at him for hours. It was so beautiful. He was so beautiful, though. He was cute. Um, but, yeah, we were not speaking to each other. So everything that we had gone through, we had never even discussed. It was all through attorneys. In our, it, it really was. And so then we brought the neutral parties in, and we just sat there, and we talked. And so much, we were like, oh, my gosh, when you did that, I thought it was and he's the same thing. Yeah. It, it opened our eyes to so much stuff. Yeah. It basically, basically was, we were asking questions, well, okay, well, if you, if you have any love for me or any, you know, any little bit of love left, why would you do this? And it was a, well, I, I did this because you did this. And well, I did this, I only did that because you did this. It and was so crazy. It was just back and forth. And so then our neutral party said, okay, well, we've got a lot on the table. This is really good. Let's go a whole weekend without speaking to each other. Because we were like, oh my gosh. And we felt so much we, better. We, felt, we, saw, we saw a glimpse of hope. Yes. And so um, we were like, okay, we're not going to speak to each other all weekend. And then I so sent we left. you left. And I sent you a message. And I said, this is a bad weekend. I said, this is a bad weekend not to talk because... My old, young or my older kids are going with their grandmother for the weekend. Darn. And so then I think by, you were like, oh, man, that stinks. And then I think by 9 o'clock you were like, I've got to come over. And then you came over and you stayed up until about 2 or 3 in the morning and we just We just talked. talked. We talked about every little every detail, detail every, every bad decision that we made as, and, and explained why we made them. And uh, we just... By the end of the conversation, I remember, and I don't know if you felt this way, and I was like, well, I, I haven't changed how I know that I feel on the inside, but I know the decisions I'm making on the outside are because of the fear and because of the anxiety or anxiousness and whatever. So by the end of it, it was like, what are we doing, what are we doing here? But then we were so worried that we were going to upset everybody, so we were like, okay, well, we just got to think about this. So we had... Okay, we had the conversation quickly. We had the conversation on Thursday or Friday. We talked all night, and then by Sunday, we decided we were getting back together and we were changing. We were going to do everything. And then from there, it just then we had to tell figure we had out to tell our parents, parents, and they were very angry, but they moved on. He lost his job. He got his job back. We moved again. And, but everything was it was an uphill battle, but it was all more than worth it. And then, boom. Baby after baby after baby. Three baby. I think I was pregnant nursing for like seven years. Seven years? The first six first six and a half years of our marriage, she was either pregnant, pregnant or nursing. nursing. But it has <laughs> been, honestly, the way God has reconciled our marriage. And we named Josiah, Josiah, because I think it's God's reconciliation or something. Mm -hmm. um, it has just been a miracle, and we are so thankful. And when we look at our family we have now, the people that we were nine years ago we don't even know who those people were so if you guys are ever going through something in your marriage where you're just unsure and you're just confused don't let fear um make your you know guide you in your choices just sit back and you know get counseling we're big huge proponents for counseling counseling is absolutely essential crucial. and key and crucial. i say get counseling even if everything's good Counseling is key. So we just wanted to share our story to share you that, you know, reconciliation is possible. It can be absolutely beautiful. I know that's not everyone's story, but hopefully um, it can just encourage you guys and motivate you. And we just wanted to give you a little glimpse of our life and um, what we're about. And now we're crazy in love forever. <laughs> no pieces, honey. And we have a beautiful family. We have a family of seven, we, you know, and we are just so thankful for every all of our babies and to look at them and realize, like, none of this would have been possible if we wouldn't have just stopped and listened to what God had for our lives. None of this would have happened, and we are just so, 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 so thankful. And mm. I've never loved anybody more. Never. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Thanks, little... Guys. Get to know me and make sure you watch all the videos and we will be doing more. Also, we're going to be doing some Q&A, so leave your questions down below. Um, let me know what you guys want to know. We're going to do some more of those. It'll be a lot of fun. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do weekly clean motivation as well as crafts, DIYs, DIYs, decor, 
cooking and all that jazz. So. And if you have questions, if there's something that you're going through in your marriage, we, we are not professional counselors, but we have helped other couples get through stuff. We would certainly be interested in helping you if you have questions or could, could use some help. Please don't don't be too proud to ask for help. Absolutely, it's important and crucial. I will leave my Instagram and his Instagram below. That'll be the easiest way to contact us because so many comments come in here, especially if you guys are asking us questions for the next Q and A. Um, find us on Instagram and feel free to send us um, a message. And I will also have. Uh, my email below. You're welcome to send me an email there. So I hope we've encouraged you guys. We love y'all. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.